business has grown, a lot of new talent has joined us, and we have entered new markets, introduced new products, and initiated several improvement programs. Of course, with growth comes challenge. Many things need to be improved, but we have grown and educated our IT team. Take William, a young professional who joined our company as a service desk specialist four months ago. But William was having trouble seeing how other team members could help him help the customer. William realized that it would be useful to take the ITIL Foundation course, as everybody else in the team had already taken theirs. Now, he has a much better understanding of technical terminology, as well as the roles and responsibilities in the organization. Sophia does not have an IT background, but she has successfully completed the ITIL Foundation course and taken the exam. Sophia was the key user for our CRM software before joining the IT department. Now that she's a configuration manager, she wants to resolve a big issue from her key user days. The inability to assess the business impact of proposed changes. Because she wants to audit the current situation and establish control, she asked her new manager to send her to the ITIL Service Transition Intermediate Level course. Sophia carried out an audit of the CMDB and found it to be severely outdated. While working on a detailed improvement plan, she has asked the change manager to keep her in the loop with major changes so she can better assess the deficiencies of the current process and the impact of the change. Norma, our operations specialist, has taken various ITIL courses and acts as a mentor. Lately, most of her time has gone to fixing issues with the IT systems. The infrastructure is failing under the increasing number of in-house users and external customers, and some of the business critical applications have become very fragile. Whenever a new release is received from the external developers, Norma hopes it won't break anything, but very often, it does. Thanks to established procedures and runbooks, her team is able to restore the service quickly, but the system is getting more and more complex. In most cases, the changes have been well planned, but sometimes there are high priority changes that need to be implemented right now. Norma thinks the change management process should be updated to better handle the emergency changes, but she has not had time to talk to the change manager about this. Improvement projects are made successful by champions, people who believe in what they do. ITIL and other frameworks give you guidance on what to do and how to be a champion and make the change happen. Take a minute and think about the improvements you can propose or perhaps even implement. Check back for next videos giving you some practical ideas and for the ITIL challenge in the coming weeks, where we guide you through the first steps of a successful ITSM improvement initiative.